Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battle Hack. My name is Sapken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign with another Flashpoint. It is time for Of Unknown Origin Part 2. The first one was already interesting but a little bit too easy. It will get more and more difficult. Now we're going to fight in the lowlands with a battle and there is quite a bit of salvage that's to be had here. Battle can mean a lot of things. And I'm wondering if we should again go all out and just uh, salvage whatever we can. You know, why not? YOLO. Let's go in and hope that we're going to find some really, really solid loot. Going for that 24 salvage. A million is a fantastic uh, payout for the mission as well. And we could have gone kind of balanced half million payout and also um, 316 loot, but 24 items are just too good to pass it. Okay, time to deploy. Command interface initiated. We landed in the lowlands. Nice biome. Where not too much heat is going on. And I distinctly remember this mission. It is, that is a fun one because we're going to be screwed quite a bit. So we will need to fight against a few mechs here. And all of a sudden afterwards, we're going to be attacked from right up there. I wasn't remembering the mission beforehand, but now that, now that I see the map, I distinctly remember how that went down. Oh yeah, that is that is going to be a joyful, joyful fight. I'm there. Centurion with the LRMs. Let's move him over here. Moving out. And the Griffin will tank for now. There we go. That's the dropship. Bauer, the enemy forces, will continue to attack us. And the drop that just landed up here, that could be a pretty nasty one. Make no mistake, the small ones here, they are just a warm-up. If I recall correctly the last time, it was heavy and assault mix that dropped. Got an assassin. Oh yeah, he can ignore three of our blips. Commander. Fantastic. Well, let's see, who are we going to fight first? Forty percent. Well, this is unpleasant. move up and try to hit the assassin quite well now we're potentially going to do that after the multi shot let's use the centurion here 50 percent versus 40 percent all right centurion moves over here multi-target javelin takes a good beating and we're trying to get that assassin a little bit lower. All right, so that's the game plan. Let's go. I got enough for everyone. Javelin is. Hey, that's not right. That's not right. Pretty low. Commander. What are your orders, Skipper? So that could be a good start. Blackjack moves up. 
Precision strike. Let's try to get rid of the assassin first. Fantastic hit. Starts to become Standing instable. By. On my way. Indicator moves up. Let's fully unload Engaging on the target. assassin. Moving up. And this here should drop the assassin at least down. There we go. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Lost evasive. Drop down. We've got drones on the field. Star League era. For those who are unfamiliar, Star League is kind of between uh, before the large fallout, so it's kind of old technology that should have been lost, and that's why it's so rare. Can't be really produced at the moment um, until it's uh, kind of redesigned. That's a similarity to the Warhammer universe. So far, so good. Not a lot of damage. The commando potentially will be the next one aye, aye. that we're going Go to hit. All right, so awesome. let's finish the assassin, shall we? Multi target. That's A, that's B. We're saving some of our rocket. <coughs> Excuse me, rockets. Um, I think we can kill the assassin with only one I LRM 15. Yes, All right, that was uh, that was a solid kill. Now commando time. Vindicator moves oh. over here, Vigilance, just to get a bit more stability and time to get the commander down. I got you. Blackjack moves further back, not an optimal position, now let's see how you handle this. but definitely okay. Commando is now ripe for... A knockdown or a kill. Griffin moves up. And let's take this guy down. I'm always surprised just how well the commandos are doing. Standing by. Okay, cool. Move order confirmed. One medium laser less, and this Firing should be a kill. Target. There we go. Target eliminated. Good, let's let them take their turns. Griffin is still very stable. The flea doesn't have the firepower to do much. So yeah, 20% damage reduction plus evasion. I'm more concerned about the rest. And by the rest, I mean the Star League drones that are incoming. Let's continue with the Javelin here. We're not using precision strike, not yet. 
Just a couple of hits, opening the torso. Forty percent, twenty percent, fifteen percent. All right, let's destabilize him. Sixty percent is good. I think we're still fine with our ammunition. There we go. That was a good hit. Right, just... Just got the griffin left and that's about it. Let's save our SRMs just a tiny bit. Good. Everything but the flea is down. And we're seeing enemy vehicles. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Interestingly enough, I don't remember that they had attacked the Oh yeah, of course these are drones. So the background story is the hostile Early drones are sent by an AI, um, which is still on that ship. And the Bormann group and these, um, Commander? are you kidding me? Really? A hit to the head? Ready to rock. Wow. Orders. To position. All right, we're saving our LRMs. Beat the cake. Just hitting the flea. Small laser is gone. Solid connection on that one. Awaiting skipper. Affirmative, commander. Good. Let's continue to hit it. All right, one side of the flea is already gone. Ah, you like that? Aye, aye. Moving to position. Vindicator Engaging hopefully target. kills the flea. Fantastic. One less target. Now, I vaguely remember that the enemy actually brought more than just than just uh, drones. Might be wrong, but I vaguely remember that we had a fight like literally here. It might have been a different mission. Luckily, our Griffin here takes minus sixty percent of damage. No retreat. So the two drones. Yes, are not a problem, not yet. Move order confirmed. Good, taking Fire a shot. Ready to rock. And let's use our LRMs to seal the deal. Ooh, the guy still survived. All right. What are your orders, Skipper? Roger that, Commander. Let's take an LBX shot. And there we go. Vehicle destroyed. Still got one more griffin to go. And thankfully we have used vigilance. 
Such a good skill. Alright, how about we're trying to hit one side? Come on, people, let's make it happen. I somewhat fear that we're not going to see other enemies, which would be a shame because we have a lot of salvage. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Please. Let them drop another lance. Ah, that is the mission did me dirty i was hoping that we would get more salvage out of it huh. okay so well 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 i mean you can take a couple of mech parts damn it we will get all of the things anyways LRM5, medium laser, done. And there you go. We didn't even fill the entirety. It's not completely bad. Um, it's still four times the amount that we would have gotten if we would have just went for the money. But to be honest, it might have been a smarter idea to just go for 50-50. It might have been a different flashpoint, but I definitely know or remember that uh, the same map was used in a different flashpoint, and uh, basically there were uh, it it uh, was an uphill battle in the truest sense, as uh, the mechs that dropped up there were pretty hardcore. So what they are finding out now is that this unknown AI uh, is. Um, telling them that it steered the ship from out of uh, the system and it tells them that there are is quite a bit of loot so what's in for us if we're helping it comet drones are standing by okay fantastic have the Morabion rescue Captain Morgan while you would lance distracts the garrison or Hmm, what do we want to do? This is a fight mission. This year is essentially a rescue mission. I think we're going for the rescue mission just because it's more fun. All right, fantastic. So it is a recovery mission. There is a lance tonnage maximum. That's okay, cool, no problem. And we again got a lot of salvage. So let's just double check the mech base real quick. We got a bit of repairs. Three days here. Three days there, one day here. Okay, well. I think we can fit that in. Let's repair the mix shortly. If I remember correctly, the follow-up missions were a bit more difficult. So three days, three days, one day, which is seven days. Good, we got Archangel in the hiring hall, which apparently is a unique sort of, a uh, unique sort of pilot. Here we go. So um, that guy is clearly better than the rest. 
of the scrubs that you can currently find. So it would be a high level higher that we could take, but with a salary of 70,000 per month, it suffers from the typical problems that you always have. If you buy them at a high level, they will cost more. So I'll pass on that one. Nice event, but thanks, but no thanks. A few more days and our repairs are done. Fantastic. So let's continue here, doubling down on the idea of salvaging and maximum 75 tons. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine with that. Got Bradford here, got Mox over there. That's fine. I think we're good to go. The mission might be a bit more difficult. But the good news is, if we're fighting against heavier mechs, we will get them as loot. Of course, granted that we're surviving. Good, time to deploy the mission. Let's see how difficult this actually is. Fantastic. We got some distraction going. All we need to do is recover Captain Magorian by securing the designated area and then sort of move out of here. Affirmative. Can't be that difficult, can it? Movement to position. Copy that, Commander. Piece of cake. On my way. Good. Sprinting in. Oh, I remember that mission. That was a fun one. This here is a great area to take a couple of fights. Uh, the last time that I was fighting here, I fought like from up here. That is indeed, it's a, it's a really good map. Good. Let's go. That shall be an interesting combat and we got a heavy mech just waiting here and apparently another medium mech that we aren't even seeing okay cool yes, commander We can fight from the low ground or we're moving up in trying to take them on even level. I got you. Let's try the latter one for now. Commando here has made a bit of a mistake uh, standing there. Vigilance. Just to make sure that we're not taking a lot of damage. Oh boy, the commando is getting wrecked. No problem. On my way. Indicator. Takes even more shots. And yep, that is that. One more for the kill board. Waiting for orders. Good. Moving up in order to tank. If we're just moving that would not be as good as sprinting Full throttle. and we're dealing with a rifleman that is interesting rifleman is in end of indicator rifleman is an interesting yeah. heavy mech if we you? could somehow get that guy wouldn't be the worst no problem centurion here Lashes out with a few rockets. Not a lot. Just want to deal some stability damage, and that's about it. Let them take the first turn. Yeah, can't really do much against that many evasion blips. Let them take the next turn. The rifleman typically is a good ranged unit. 
Oh, he's just taking kind of a small laser and that's it. Okay. Receiving you. Very good. You can see another commando up there. Ready for order. All right, Griffin moves in, Vigilance, so that we can act first. And let's just try to hammer uh, this Rifleman down. Fantastic hits. Enemy mech. Well done, Hogbite. Good orders. job. Nicely uh, gone into the back of this guy. Blackjack moves up, and let's go for the Vindicator. Gotta be careful not to uh, not go. to use too much heat for now. Ready to get it on. Good. We're positioning ourselves just in front with a on lot of move. sprint Hold stacks, me. saving some uh, heat. Up, All right, time to molest that Vindicator. They got the high ground. Which definitely is an advantage. We're taking a solid position over here, entranced, entranced, and let's hit the rifleman and hit him well. On uh, medium laser less, everything else center core, so. Okay, we can definitely kill the guy this turn. Taking some shots in return, but that is fine. Ready for orders. We're taking out their biggest threat right away. And that's a kill. Back destroyed. Rear armor gone. Alright, moving up. Roger that, Commander. Let's reduce his initiative. Also nicely reduce his armor. Fabulous. On the move. Time for some more rockets. Just to reduce the stability and also the remaining evasion blips. Tiger unfortunately took a head hit. Standing by. Indicator moves up. And let's hit the enemy Vindicator. That hit something good. Orders? Something I can do. Griffin moves up. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Detected. And the guy is almost Commander. down. Location confirmed.
Fantastic. Tango down. Come Pilot on. is down. Location I don't want to confirmed. step into the target zone yet. Instead, let's try to hit the commando and hit it really well. No retreat. Right, this commando has center torso hit. Position confirmed. Taking the shot. Critical hit, commander. Fantastic, he's unstable. Let's use it for our at to our advantage. I'm on him. I am always surprised just how hard the commandos seem to be going down. Of course, he has forty percent damage reduction. I get it, but still. That is a light mech, and it feels like fighting against the medium. Uh, against the medium mech, at least. Okay, cool. Enemy mech destroyed. Move on out. Fantastic. So we're going to get a little bit of company. I'm not sure. I think the extraction zone was up here. Ah, I was misremembering. And again, only four enemies. So I hope we get enough salvage out of this. So we got one rifleman, not the best heavy mech, but still respectable. Oh boy, we have sold ourselves short. Look at that, 14 items in instead of 24. Yes, we got a rifleman, but maybe it would have been wiser to just destroy his legs and try to salvage an entire rifleman instead of going for a fast kill. It was it was tempting not to take any damage and I said just get rid of him but yeah in return we didn't get the full rifleman if you destroy both of the legs typic or the head typically a two at least um, but oftentimes three items so three parts of the mech will be available Good. Morabion, the AI, is telling us that there is more, uh, and that will be the follow-up flashpoint, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, there is a lot of lore behind it. We, they, The crew wants to learn more about kind of the inner... Um, more of the outer spheres and we got ourselves srm force that is good plus four damage that's fantastic plus two stability damage that is incredibly good the lrm files are also really good and we got ourselves an atlas and not only any atlas um, the atlas is that uh, the the Atlas 2, no, I think that's the Atlas 1. But anyways, irregardless, Atlas, absolutely the king. Ah, oh, that is a fantastic mech. Heat bank, it's good as well. Another payout on top. So the loot is good. Unfortunately, one Atlas item will not be really enough. 
Let's take a look at the store here. So we could buy another crab and then have a crab ready. That's not worth it. Shadowhawk, potentially also not worth it. Should we take any of uh, these items? AC 20 plus stability bed damage. That isn't bad. It's actually a pretty good gun for later. This one isn't bad either. That is a three for one ratio and that's a two for one. So yeah, with the extra damage here, that's actually not too bad. I think we're going to save our money. I want to be a bit more prudent, not always spend all of it right away. We have a lot of upgrades that still need to uh, that still need to be done. So 26 days until everything is back in order. Are there any contacts left? Only the ones that fight against the pirates. Well, that one here is new, isn't it? Last make standing. Hmm. Could go for another seven hundred thousand. We don't uh, work against the pirates, so that's well, not going to happen. What else could we do if we're skipping that one mission? So two and a half stars, that looks good. I think we originally wanted to do something like that. 36 days. Ain't bad either. The underlying system is like what? Two star, uh, two skulls, no. Two and a half skulls. Yes, two and a half skulls. Well, it's not bad. Pirates are there. Uh, so... I like that idea. And how Steiner so far really hasn't uh, hasn't done a lot. It's fighting against Ofer. That's good. Got some uncommon items. That's not a perfect reward, but it's definitely okay. The one thing that I am concerned about is that point expires in 38 days and we're taking like what 36 days to get there so that means we immediately got to go into the flashpoint like do it and there cannot be any mistake that flashpoint is too difficult for us that flashpoint is definitely too difficult for us What are the alternatives if we were to go to here? That'll be similar travel time. Similar travel time. I mean, listen. Most of uh, these systems here, they are okay. Not fantastic, but okay. This here, for instance, is something that uh, looks good. Kind of those two-star uh, difficulty systems aren't bad, but I feel that this year actually could be good. 36 days overall, which means do we have enough in our pipeline for 36 days? Mm. 26 days, okay. Let's take a look. Anything else that we can upgrade or that we should change? Medium max. Heavy max. Yeah, we got a couple of individual parts. And we got the good old assault uh, mech.
So we would have an enforcer here. And we already have a lot of medium mech, so I really don't see a lot of value in changing that. The Centurion here is performing well. We've gotten a couple of lost tech items. Was it worthwhile to equip those? Let's just double check. Griffin is potentially our best mech at this point. What were the items that we've gotten? We got LRM, LRM fives. Yep, that we can put onto our LRM boat. We get SRM fours, so that is more damage than we currently have. So what we could do is we can put that in here. I think same fire power as before. And that allows for either more heat sinks, which potentially isn't a bad idea, to be honest. I feel this mech here is getting quite hot from time to time. So having that heat bank here, maximum heat, overheat threshold, that's not bad. We're not really going into melee with it. So yeah, that would definitely increase our heat efficiency quite a bit. Alternatively, we're going for another heat sink, but I think we're fine. So that is only two days. Slide upgrade can slot that in. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. Here with the LRMs. Yeah, the LRM-5s are f aren't bad, specifically the extra damage ones. Like that's 30 damage right there. And that is 60 damage. Just hypothetically speaking. We still got quite a bit of room left over. A large laser would give us more agency. How would our heat overall look like? I mean, the large laser is definitely hotter than the LRMs. That's a given. But then again, with the plus pluses, we're dealing more damage we're making more out of less. That is 20 per shot and we do have 360 loaded. So we could even drop an ammo case and go for an additional heat sink if we wanted to do that. We didn't really have a heat problem with the mech whatsoever yet. And the LRMs generally don't generate a lot of heat, so that's fine. Another option that we could do, just thinking out loud now. I mean, yes, large laser, cool, no problem. But how about the following? And yes, yes, uh, the heat efficiency is terrible at this point. But it's eventually even more damage on the Centurion. 
Like we got four medium lasers. We don't need to use all of them and the LRMs uh, will work fantastic even without it. I am wondering if that is actually worth it. The large laser wasn't bad for just ranged combat. It would fit the build better because we can we could deal we could deal with enemies via ranged better. But this one here would just be a uh, substantial upgrade in damage overall. I think we're going to go with that. We still have the LRMs. Good. Fire start uh, goes down. Uh, that one also goes down. So essentially 7, 23, 33 days. Right. Sounds about right. Okay, cool. We got the money. We got the navigation. Let's travel to here. And hope that we can still do the flashpoint. All right, 500,000 for more, for more, um, 500,000 for more tech points. That would only be temporary though. Minus three tech points, well, fantastic. That means everything takes longer, but that's okay. We only need the hunchback. I didn't want to waste money for a temporary buff. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Good, because we're rather taking like permanent ship upgrades. Such as an improvement of the drive system, which is the next thing that I'd like to purchase. Right, Reduces travel time by 30% and that's exactly what we need. We got kind of the basic repair uh, portion done. Other than that, I tend to always go for the drive system because in, in the normal uh, career mode, you will get career points for visiting every single system. And of course, if you plan kind of you travel well uh, that is possible but it also requires the drive system ASAP but since we're not trying to optimize the the score at the end it's not that important I just don't like to wait too uh, too much um, because travel also means that you cannot um, regain funds and whilst you're not able to regain funds exactly that happens Slowly but surely, you're being sucked uh, dry. All right, we're continuing to use that extravagant lifestyle. Believe it or not, at the beginning, it is still cheaper. If we have a second Mac Bay and so on, it becomes way, way more expensive. So it's all good. We're almost at 40. Morale, and that is really, really good. The moment that we hit 50, um, the inspiration in the mission will kick in. If we have more of the comp system on top of it, it will, it will even be better because the comp system kind of give you more inspiration. And typically what, you, what will end up happening is at the end, you will uh, kind of have two to three um, abilities per round, depending on the amount of enemies that you can kill which opens just even more precise shots and so on and so forth so it's a mechanic that um, that uh, snowballs quite heavily fantastic
independence is the new flashpoint and that thing is the follow-up flashpoint so we're definitely going to take that sooner or later rather sooner than later Fantastic. Bradford's birthday. We wished him a happy birthday and he has a high spirit. Bradford always has a high spirit, unless he's telling you that the aliens make significant progress and you got to be careful, Commander. Good. Expires in two days, so we got to make sure that that does not happen. Let's take a good look at the store. nothing really a big fat amount of nothing fantastic all right let's take it take a look at the contracts let's hope this time that we have more pirate contracts in here i really would like to improve the relationship with them it's a pirate themed campaign and we haven't even really played with the pirates yet Ooh, two pirate missions. One with 28 salvage, one with 24 salvage. That is great. I already love it. Escort mission and destroy base. Okay, cool. That one here we can do. That one we can do. And we don't have enough. We don't have enough favor in order to do that, and potentially this will be one of our first missions after the after our uh, engagement with the flashpoint, because we're barely kind of neutral. We're barely neutral. Current reputation minus eighteen, and I suspect that after we're doing those local missions, they won't like us a lot. So in terms of overall reputation, Free World likes us a lot. Local pirates, we effed up with the last flashpoint, but yeah, we can now rebuild that. Only two missions. I was hoping we'll get a bit uh, more, but pirate missions are sparse, so it's a long, long journey. However, nine and eight, that almost will get us to liked. Almost. 5% bonus payment for contracts. Undertaking with a faction. Maximum contract difficulty of 4 that we could get. And we maybe will get access to the black market. But that is still a while ago. So the black market would be up here. Extra stores. And the pirate market. Just believe me. It is very very good so that's going to be the next one the joint venture uh, piece but that happens in the next uh, episode thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the content as always leave a comment and a like down below i appreciate your viewership and see you in the next mission bye bye